You knew Jacob Zuma well too. Uh, President Zuma will, will, will cling into power even in the worst of moments. Even when, you see the biggest problem with the ANC was not to explain why we let Zuma to go and not finish his term. Why? In two weeks from when he was still president, he was going to be arrested by the NPA, which Abrams, the public prosecutor then, went to Zuma and told him that uh, in two weeks' time, the case will be reinstated. DA had won that case in the Constitutional Court that it must go back. And Zuma had to stand it's in... It's been pending for years. Yeah. No, it has been pending for years, but at that time... So the question before the NEC was that, how will you explain to the membership of the ANC uh, that uh, you still kept the president up until the time of his arrest and the case being reinstated when you had just elected a new president and you had no crisis? So you knew, and that, that, you knew that former President Jacob Zuma was going to be arrested? Let, let me tell you. All of us in that NEC, we spoke in favor of Zuma stepping down and they've been recalled. And he asked the question, then then we explained to him. He asked President Ramaphosa that uh, allow me to be around till BRICS and introduce you. We said by that time you would have been faced with this. How will you explain that? That you have a sitting president arrested and back into court on corruption uh, charges. They what I even ask, what is this hurry? What are you rushing for? I'm not refusing to resign. It's a question of the time frames that now we work on. And I said, <clears throat> I would like that perhaps I should resign. People should know now that I should resign after June. And the reason was, this country has relations with a number of uh, countries, including organizations. This country, this, this year, is chairing BRICS, is also chairing uh, <clears throat> SADC. I would prefer that in some of the public gatherings, we appear together, so that we, we show the country, we show the members of the ANC that, indeed, we are uniting, we are working together. But this is being done in a manner that I felt I'm being victimized here. So I said I disagree with the decision. Of course, I did not defy. They are taking their decisions. They are taking me to parliament. And of course, that's how I came in. I came through parliament. If parliament says we don't want to, those are the people who elected me. Why should, should there be a problem? I would, I, would, I, would, I would be out. I think we're being plunged in a crisis that I'm sure my comrades, my leaders will regret. Because some people may not like this. The leadership of the ANC, if it's not careful, they might actually cause a bigger problem than we think. I, I hope they will know how to handle the organization. Kwa yena ene situ ya hapa Samanda Ye kaume ka ene ene msa kazi Ye tuya anao sa mo 4 o'clock Situ hamu ya hapi Guys, the president has resigned And you all know that President wrote a letter The people who work with him The people who typed his speech Told me it's done, Chief. We are done. We're just waiting for the time to call a press conference. It's done. Until affection went to persuade him the same day not to resign. His conscience has concluded that he doesn't have what it takes to be a president. The body might be there. The guy is gone. He wrote Cyril. If we were to conduct the raid now in his offices or homes, we are going to find a resignation letter. You have a president who is there by body, but the soul is gone. It's not there. That's why he tells you it's not my responsibility to give you electricity. So, Prof, <laughs> in a way there, Sigil Mbalula tells us something that perhaps could best be characterized as 
a badly kept secret. We were told that it was mere speculation that President Ramaphosa had actually resigned on the back of the Palapala scandal and ANC officials went to his house, I think it was in Cape Town, to convince him not to resign. So we know today that indeed it is a fact that President Ramaphosa, if we are to believe Figilim Balula, he actually resigned. And so I want you, Prof, to draw these parallels for me because Figilim Balula says, Jacob Zuma, you've troubled us for many years, scandal after scandal, but we stood firm, we stood behind you and defended the indefensible. He even uses that term. And then we have a new president. Well, uh, you know, I, I've been trying to say to everybody, there was never an arms deal. There was never such a deal. You know when people use those phrase, that phrase, arms deal? That means something crooked happened. You entered into a deal. So I've been trying to say, please, can you stop with saying this thing about an arms deal? Is there was no arms deal. There was a defense procurement. Um, now, as you will recall, uh, uh, soon after we had, the government had uh, uh, approved this preferred leaders, the controversy started. That there was corruption. So in the end, uh, uh, that joint investigation team was established. But the general... National Public Prosecution, National Director of Public Prosecutions, and Public Protect. And in our view, did very thorough work to look at every element of this matter. That is, matters relating to the contracts which the government negotiated with the supplier companies to try and find this corruption. And as you recall, Sophie Lembalula has dropped another bombshell saying that Jacob Zuma stepped down because he was going to be arrested in two weeks. Like, I find that very interesting because after that, Jacob Zuma was not arrested. It's like after stepping down, the corruption case did not go any far. So they were using that as a threat to get him to step down. That's how much they wanted him to step down. And these people, they have been plotting on getting Jacob Zuma arrested because Figel and Balula told us that Jacob Zuma was supposed to be arrested in stages. Only God knows what stage are we at now. Only God knows. And we are hoping that maybe Figel and Balula would actually tell us. And it's also very interesting that the one who's conscious was telling him to resign and actually drafted a letter to resign and even called a press conference. They were just waiting for four o'clock for him to announce he was told to not resign. We know that Cyril is corrupt, beyond corrupt. We know it. We know it. We all know it. If he wasn't corrupt, he wouldn't seal the CR17 bank statements. We know what is in those statements. We all know he is a corrupt president. He should have been allowed to resign. 